Hello, my friends! I'm Brazilian Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here, of course, in Victoria 2, playing as that awesome Empire of Brazil. So last time, we had quite an experience with Bolivia, doing things that I didn't think we'd end up doing. But in this episode, we're probably going to calm down just a little bit, and really, really try to make a little bit more money, so that we can improve our education efforts. So. We got a couple comments here, but we can let time go on after we check out our focuses. You're doing okay there. Intellectuals, you are doing what in Rio? Oh, you're there! Good! 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 Intellectuals are done. 4% right there. And let's see. Let's this area next should get some intellectuals as well. Good. Bahia? 1.8%. So, right now we're going to make some more money and look at our army, which is... Trying to recover from that massive war we just had with Bolivia. Well, it wasn't that massive, but it was pretty damaging to us. But anyways, comments. Someone says, Annex Bolivia. Well, I'd like to, but my infamy says no. And the truce that we have currently... Also says no. Until... Actually, only two years from now? That's pretty good. With the Crimean War. Wow, that is a name I've never seen before. Um, I'm going to assume that's the Baltics, so... Whoa, that's a lot of guys. Thank you, uh, India. Wait... India, and then France, and then... Oh, the East India Company. Ooh. Of course, the Ottoman Empire in there, too. So, I'd like to annex Bolivia, but we can't do it yet. Someday, hopefully. Hopefully. I'll try to take as much of these states, as many of these states as possible. Uh, let's increase our relations with Buenos Aires, because we kind of want to protect them. Because Argentina, the Argentine Con Confederation, wants to ally them, or take them out, because it's, you know, their land. But, as long as these guys exist, with 150,000 people, though, that's not bad. That is definitely a thorn in their side. So that'll be good for us if we can make sure we do that. Someone said annex, like, a province next to a river in the south. Uh, I want this all to be my, my shade of green eventually, so there's that. Oh, also, we have such high infamy right now that we're getting more militancy and consciousness, which is important for the next couple uh, comments, but this one not so much. So, someone says build factories in states have the, that have the proper RGOs. Example... Timber, or lumber, so you can build some sawmill factories, wool for, I think, clothes? I might be wrong about that. Canneries for, like, you know, fruit and cattle, or, uh, what is that? Cattle, livestock, basically the same thing. I know to do that, but I can't build factories. As Brazil, I'm not allowed to build factories. Build factories means no. Uh, regarding our government type, constitutional mon monarchy, I can raise militancy if I change my government or party that's ruling the government, my conservative party obviously does not allow us to build factories when it says no factories can be built. But I can't change my ruling party. It sucks. I know it sucks a lot. I want to change my party badly. I really, really want to. Like, I... Come on. Ooh, opposed to social warfare. Social warfare. Ooh. Nice. Anyways, so, like, I get it. I want to build factories. Factories attract immigrants. And I want more immigrants, like I've said before. But there's nothing I can do about it. There's, unless we get more militancy and we have, like, a coup or something. Uh, something else. That's pretty much it. Just free trade. Yeah, give me that militancy. Yeah, more militancy. 4%. More militancy. No, no, go up. No, we don't... Oh, why do we believe in equality? No, 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 no. Go back up. Give, come on, give me more consciousness. Come on. Yes, 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 no. And we just had an election. <sighs> hmm... Or at least we're making more money. So there was another comment from yesterday as well saying that if I take like an African nation, I could eventually like make some of those Africans into Afro-Brazilian. That sounds kind of cool. That actually sounds really, really cool. So uh, hopefully that could happen, but we'll see what happens. Let's see. South Indian, Guarani. Most of us are Brazilian or Afro-Brazilian, which our accepted culture is still only Brazilian. You guys want to ally now? Okay. So we're going to wait for a little bit of time to get some more money first. Lower some of our infamy and then... Just, you know, do the best we possibly can. They have... Oh, come on. I need their coal. Or Peru. Even though Colombia would probably be the best for us to take out. Now, it does take about... 11 infamy to fight them. But even if I fight them by myself. They have a military score of 9. We have 17. So getting more brigades, divisions, whatever you want to call them, would be ideal right now. You got a horse. Uh, the horse is okay. We could get rid of that guy, but... That's okay. So the best thing I, could, I think that we should do is to just educate our people as much as possible. It's still 1854, alright? It's still 1854. We're still in the 50s. We're struggling a little bit. But actually, regarding everyone else in South America, 
we're actually doing pretty darn well. Like, we are the, probably the most powerful nation in South America right now. That's, you know, doing okay. Doing okay. Now, I could get this. Give us more pluralism. And pluralism, where is that? Policies. Plurality is a shared level of consciousness in our country. The memories of the past victories and defeats in the name of liberty remind our people of what could be. That being said, it might be worth it to get some more commerce here. We do have lumber. Maybe it'd be good to get some lumber mills. It doesn't cost that much either. And we are out of more education efficiency things to do, so that's okay. We do have factories here, and I do have money to... Mm. La Paz. We took that away from Bolivia. Amazonas. So the Amazonas is right here. Actually, who owns... Oh, oh it was Colombia. Colombia. Oh, those gosh darn jerks. Uh, cool. Hudson Bay factory, whatever. Uh, so what does... Or what does? What do they need? Fruit and glass. Well, that sucks. Hmm. Really? Glass? We could supply them with coal because we're buying more coal. It's going to cost us a lot to give coal, though. Glass and then fruit in La Paz. Well, they got... What do they got down here in La Paz? They have fruit, which is okay. But they don't have coal, which is a no bueno move. Uh, I could maybe... It, it'll cost us. We could do some subsidies to basically have a faux industry. It'll basically be a faux industry. A little bit less money for now, which is kind of okay with me, just because these guys are hurting a little bit. And now I'm hurting a little bit too. Ooh. That's not bueno. Because these guys aren't going to be able to operate if these guys don't get anything. Uh, right now, the price of coal is pretty stagnant. We could try that. Nice. Oh. Hmm. What is that? Last day's profitability. That might help a little bit. And that does give us almost almost an industrial power. Almost. Actually, you can go down a little low. That's fine with me. Um, you know what? We'll keep it on there. We'll see what happens. It's not costing us too much right now. If anything, that actually might attract more people to come here. So, La Paz? Do we have any Brazilians? We do have a few. Oh, North Germans. Yes, yes. Bring the immigrants here. Yes. So we can assimilate them to Brazilian culture and turn this province into a proper Brazilian province. I think this is a good idea. Now, trade-wise, coal, our stock of coal is not really going down. So that's actually not too bad then. Good, good, good. Uh, iron. Are any prices going down? So eh, that's a little too high for me to purchase right now. Some of these are just a little bit too high. Oh my goodness. That's a high demand clipper convoys. Oof. Fruit? Someone tells me we probably won't ever have to do that with fruit. So our top three imports are grain, glass, glass, and tea, huh? Less good. Less conservative support. Good. And I can be the proud owner of a single industrial power. That feels good. Between both of these guys. Oh no. Oh no! Oh, there's a pro. Ooh, explosives! Ooh, what do what do they need for explosives? Oh man, I wish I knew. I wish I knew. What, what's going on here? The Polish War of Independence. Oh, that's cool. The Congress Poland people. Dominican War of Independence. Serb liberation of Ottoman Southern Serb. Oh my goodness, you're even pissing off the Prussians. French War of Piedmont and Freedom. Oh boy, everyone is killing each other here. Look. Okay. Uh, I really don't want to go to war. Uh, I think it'll be okay. Ugh. Stupid UK. I'm using, I want to use you. I don't want you to use me. Oh. They're 10% Brazilian down here. Aw, oh, yeah. Uh, education's getting better, though. Education for the people. Um, deja. Oh, you guys are slaves, so you won't assimilate. Oh, Ukrainians. No, please assimilate. Please, please, please. Ukrainians, you speak a, you believe in a weird version of Christianity called Orthodox Christianity, but that's okay. Just call it Catholicism and you'll be great. Ooh. Oh, it's dried up. Oh. oh, lumber mills, great. Great, 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 great. Early railroads sound like fun. Interchangeable parts, factory throughput. How about input? Navy wise, army wise. We're lacking something pretty fierce, but we really can't support that. I like fertilizer. Fertilizer, let's do that too. 
Alright, you guys right here. Mobile. Oh my god. This is the time. Oh, why did, I, why did I ally them to go to war? Oh. This is the perfect time for us to get immigrants, but we're at war as well now. Oh my goodness. Look at America. Look at. Just look at America. And my budget is. Bul what happened here? Why are there. Bulgaria? Is this. What, uh, Romania's here too. Sorry, I didn't recognize it. Serbia's looking kind of thick too, huh? Oh, so now we're only fighting. Oh, yeah, we're fighting China, whatever. Um. Wait, hold on. Dominican War of Independence against. Haiti? Haiti has. They don't have a mili military. But, uh, okay, well, whatever. I'm gonna keep good relations with the French as well. The Prussians. Probably a good idea. The. Yeah, Americans? Yeah. No, oh, come on, America. Hmm. You're the Russians. I don't know. It really doesn't matter to me. Just don't mind me, China. Please don't come over here. I just want to be Brazilian and take over other South American states. That's all. Man, our budget is doing great. Oof. You guys are looking better? We're still just basically recovering after this war. You know what? If I save scum, I could probably get an annex war goal against all of Bolivia, maybe. No, I can't. Oh, man. You know what? I might have to save scum here. Because I do want to go to war with Bolivia, because they still have good RGOs like iron, I think. Yeah, they have iron right there. Which, you know, iron it isn't, isn't the most, you know, exciting thing. But it's pretty exciting in my opinion. It's pretty gosh darn exciting. So, you know what? If I can get a little bit of iron, Mato Grosso is nice. Oh, I mean, ooh. I mean, I'm going to take out this tile first. Maybe Karumba. And then be able to annex them. That is... Huh. So, let's go ahead. And if I get caught doing this, then, um... I'm going to have to save some a little bit. Because they still don't have an army. And we still have a pretty good army down here. And you're going to come right... Not there. Up there. Come on, please don't get caught. Please don't get caught. Wow, look out. That is very horizontal. Wow. That is... Antofagasta. That is too horizontal for my liking. Let's see, please. Good, militancy. Good, keep it coming up. Come on, go higher, go higher. Please. Oh, wait. Uh, consciousness, consciousness is going down because we're at war. Huh. Oh, what is that? Oh, furniture. Awesome. Yeah, we need all this stuff, and I can't really afford that stuff for now. I can't afford that much anyways. Alright, maybe a little bit more on the taxes side. I can't really afford a war either. Especially with all those educational benefits that we're trying to do. Oh. The Kingdom of Sardinia. Sardinia wins the Italian War of Independence. Whoa! Nice flag there. Very nice. Your conservative government. Job. Oh! Nice! We actually saw them flip to Italy. That was... Not good. So, I will see you just a little bit when I will have a little bit less infamy. Alright, my friends. We are back, and... Right now, I have a little bit more infamy than where we left off originally at the beginning of this episode, but ooh, uh, we are now 22.17. I was just caught. I accidentally pressed enter, but we will not be going over the 25 infamy limit. And right now, even though at the end of, before we faded out, Italy was formed, so far they are not formed, but you know, it, it'll be what it'll be. And uh, Holstein's not having a good time, actually. And we're still at war with China. So it is what it is. We're 69% of the way there. Nice. But now we don't have to worry about infamy because I was already cut. And the UK is doing okay with their opium war. Cool. And Bulgaria and Romania are still here. So basically... Oh! What is this? Oh, choose a trade policy. Oh, I got excited for a second there. Hmm. So... Fle flexibility. Minimum tariffs. You know what? How about we keep a little bit of flexibility? You know? Let's try that. Maybe we'll get more money. We don't get the minus 5% tax efficiency. That actually might help us quite a bit. So, request for military aid. We are at war, but we do not know what to do. Not allied? Oh. Ottoman Empire, Austria. Request military aid from the UK. You lose 5 prestige? No. And I'm doing luxury goods as well. I forget exactly where we left off last time and what we were doing. Market structure, business regulations. Factory input efficiency tech seems like a really, really good one to do. Also, we got uh, Darwinism. 
Yeah, we got Darwinism, which gave me 50% more educational efficiency, so we're at 11.4%, which is awesome. Uh, since we're going to go to war, let's do a military stat system. That would probably be a good idea, just because it's not too expensive to get. And we could use a better, more efficient military. So once, we're at, once we hit 90%, we'll probably go ahead and raise up our conscription and lower education efficiency. It is what it is, you know, whatever. We need more intellectuals. You know, maybe we'll hit it at. Mm. It's probably a good idea to do it now. Oh, yeah, we're peace. Just in time for me to go back to war. Oh, if I can do... Oh, you know what? We're going to have to lower this a little bit. I'm sorry, education. But I'm not that sorry. As long as we're just a little bit green, I'm happy with it. I am more than happy. Uh, so pretty high, so pretty high, whatever. Uh, cool. Mobilizing. They have annexed Awada. Aw negotiate an unequal treaty. Oh my goodness, this is looking... There's too, it's too colorful here. So what are they going to take next? Ningbo, maybe? Ah, there we go, my friends. There we go. Bolivia. I'm sorry, I really don't like doing this to you, but you are like... You are like the China of South America for me. That's probably the best way I can put it. Let's get one more month in there. Just so that we can get a little bit more organization for these guys, and then they can march straight in. They'll probably mobilize, which is fine with me. I don't really care. So we can take Mato Grasso, or we take Santa Cruz. We get four prestige for doing this anyways. Uh, I'm going to take the bigger state for now, just because we get more RGOs, even though we already have all these RGOs anyways. But it's more population, and that might, in the next war with Bolivia, might just be able to annex them right out after that. So I'm sorry, Bolivia, but you are my favorite state to beat, beat up right now. Let's see. No one will accept my call to arms. So be it. You are all worthless. I don't know why I ally you. I know why. So I don't go to war with them. And I do want to keep increasing relations with Peru. Because even though they have coal, and I might be able to take it off eventually, I really want them as an ally to fight, eventually, hopefully, fight Colombia. They okay, will not accept. So be it. And maybe Venezuela, too. Even though you're looking... They're looking mighty weak, and it's... There might be a better idea to take him out eventually. Oh, Dominican Republic and Haiti are here. Oh, well, whatever. Uh, who's up here? Costa Rica. They're pretty, pretty peaceful, so I'm not gonna do anything with them. Um, Ecuador. Oh, oh, Ecuador. Y oh, you might be worthwhile doing this as well, because you have claims on their lands, which I like, like, like. I could call on the other army down, but I'm not going to do that. I don't want too many dead soldiers, and it shouldn't be too bad. Cool. And good. Of course, we're at war, and we get less immigrants. We do have quite a few Jacobins. It might be worth getting Jacobins to take over the country, so I might be able to do something. So, otherwise, Jacobins will strive to create a democratic government with a liberal ideology and a focus on political reforms, which might be the exact thing we need to do as Brazil. Now, I know... Generally, people really don't like Jacobins, but it might be our saving grace if we use them. Maybe. Maybe. How much war score do we need for this group? 22, and we're already more than halfway there. Awesome. Because it's hurting our budget quite a bit. The small little surplus we built up. Oh, luxury furniture. Yeah, that sounds great. Yeah. It's 1856. No, we need three more score. Three more war score. Or not. Uh, we're going to raise our consciousness, even though I'd like more RGO output and throughput. Extend slavery. Or don't extend it. Yeah, don't extend it. And let's go ahead and do this. Thank you, my armies. You have done a wondrous job. A truly wondrous job. Oh, look at that money. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Spend it immediately. Nice. There you go. That might be too much. Nice. I'm good. Now, that's not bad. Tariffs are set at 48%, whatever. You guys are not starving. You guys actually have got good money. Mm -hmm. Nice, build this area. Now, this is disgusting, now that we've taken that part away. And Bolivia's been reduced to something really, really tiny and disgusting, but that's okay. Oh my god, yes, 1,200 in the last month. Oh, don't go to Venezuela. Venezuela doesn't deserve it. We deserve it. We deserve all the immigrants. Yes, let Europe burn, burn, you burn. Yes, France, Italy, Austria, Prussia, Serbia, UK. That Indian nation, Kalat. Yes, yes, yes. The Luxembourg crisis, Prussia accepts a purchase. 
The government of Prussia has not objected to the purchase of Luxembourg. The sale will go through and the territory will be incorporated in France immediately. Oh my gosh. Ah, oh, why? Ah, oh, that's disgusting. That, that's a real thing? That's a real... Why did you... Oh, oh, oh hold on, hold, hold on. So, you just annexed and per literally just bought Luxembourg. Yet they are literally 99% North German. That's going to go over very well. So no wonder the UK ended their splendid isolation. The balance of power in Europe has been upset. Remaining isolationists will no longer be, be beneficial to the Great Britain and her empire. We must quickly search for an alliance with other great powers and restore the balance of... Oh. Oh, did that give the French, like, a ton of infamy? Ooh. And did they beat up... Oh, they beat up the Austrians as well, I think, or something. Oh, the Serbs are getting taken out. Oh, Serbia. Oh, no, no, no. That's not good. Oh, now they're okay. Eh, maybe they're fine. I don't know. We'll see what happens. I have no idea. Hey, Venezuela. How you doing? How you doing, man? How you doing? You have no... Wait, what? What? Did you not have any allies before? Wait. They have an industrial score. Do you have coal? No. Hmm. These guys have two. I'm going to say yes for now. Just because I want to use you later. Oh, and we have research we need to get to. Uh, early railroad sounds like a lot of fun. Uh, let's go with this one, just because we get more plurality if we research more stuff. Which I think will be a great, great thing for us. Actually, is there anywhere else we can build roads? I'm building roads here. Oh. Nice. Um, you have a special flag. We kind of like each other. But that doesn't work in my interests. So I'm sorry, Argentine Confederation. I like you guys. I really do. I got nothing against you, except you, I don't want to kill you off later. Actually, I do want to kill you off later, so that's why I don't, can't ally with you. Yes! Less reactionary and conservative support. That's good. That's really good for us. Less support for them means more potential for... <gasps> Reforms! Yes! So we can do state press. Ooh, suppression point gain. Censored press gives us more political awareness. Panage, debtor's prison. What do people want? Overall, they want protectionism. Oh, and they want wealth voting. So that means if I don't give it to them, they're going to demand it again and again and again. But I can get more simulation rate. Right? Oh. oh my god. Oh my god. All cultures can vote. That would be fun with me. Slavery. And I know we want to end slavery because I hate slavery so much. I really, really do. But I can use this constantly. Ooh. I would love more social reform desire. I've got to go with this. i got to get more assimilation rate. You, we get plus... Is that 8% more immigrant... Uh, yes. Plus 8% more immigrant attraction. Yes. 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 I've got to do that. All rights allowed. Give me those people. Give me those people. Oh, yes. 1,600. 2,000. Oh, give me your Turks, your Russians, your Italian peoples. Come to Brazil. Pump these numbers up. Look at that immigration. 5,000 people in the last month. Yes. Colombia, no, Ecuador, yes. We are all going to collectively come together and beat the snot out of Colombia eventually. At least that's the goal. Address to the Parliament. And it seems altogether pleasing, therefore, that the only the order long established shall prevail throughout the centuries, throughout the eras, and today. A conservative member of the upper house has addressed Parliament today with a lionizing speech to the nation and its manifold glories. Excellent. Oh, no, that's not excellent. No, 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 no. You know what? Let's do militancy just because it's already lower. Oh, wow, that really shot it down. Wow. And the UK is at war again. My goodness. My goodness. Oh, this just warms my heart. I am feeling good. I am feeling green, man. Oh, that's so good. And Bolivia doesn't get anything. Even the Argentine Confederation, they're getting a little bit of stuff, but nowhere near our numbers. Uh, we're getting, like, at least double theirs, and it's just, oh, yes, 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 yes. Oh, and they did something. Whoopsie. The more people we have, that means the more people we can tax. No! Colombia, no! Why are you in the American sphere now? No, America. No, why does it have to be good and bad at the same time? You know what? That means I want the Confederate States of America to win then. America, why? No. Well, where are other places that have coal? Because if I can't get to Colombia because of those, that reason... Hmm. 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 
Mm-hmm. They have seven military score. They're primitives. Ah, uh, we might do two fade and fade outs this episode. Huh. I have a navy. And I'll see you in just a little bit. Alright guys, my apologies. That's the second time it happened in a single episode. I think that's the first time that's ever happened. Regardless, right now, if you look down here, April 28th, 1857, we have gained the demand concession Cassus Bella against the Marina Kingdom. And it's time to get some coal, my friends. And maybe an African colony. Now, I said I wouldn't do too much about Africa, but by the time we go to war by March, we will be good. Also, I do want to point out that off-screen, apparently, uh, the French Empire lost Corsica to Corsican nationalists down here. They lost 77 prestige. That is a butt-ton of prestige. I don't even have 77 prestige. That's a lot. But you know what? We're making a lot of money. I've lowered my taxes just a little bit. And uh, we're doing really well now. I don't know what's happened. Maybe it's because... Hold on. Nice. That's not, that's not great. Address the parliament. Uh, I think I already read this a little earlier. Someone lionizing about this stuff. Lower militancy. That's fine. It's already pretty low. So, whatever. Get our guys on the boat. And actually... Ooh, it's not good. Lower that by a lot. Lower that by quite a bit. Uh, we're going to need... We're definitely going to need this. Give our guys about a month. We're still getting... We're still pretty positive here, which is good. Still pretty positive. Raise that up just a little bit, my friends. And let's give it a month so that our soldiers get enough time to get supplies, resources that we need before we go to war. Because even though we're considered a civilized nation, we aren't the most advanced civilized nation. Oh, Caracers. Never knew how to pronounce that. But let's get on down to Madagascar. Where is King Julian? King Julian. And then, of course, go to war. Uh, yeah, we're really cutting it hard on our soldiers here. Oh, uh, are you guys lacking things? No, you guys aren't. Our other uh, divisions are. Actually, we completely surround this little strip of land. I wish it would be like an event where like stuff like this would happen. That it would just we just absorb it or something. Oh no, no, UK, no, no, no. Why? Oh, don't tell me you're in this. No, I I am not fighting that. I'm not fighting the Austrians. I can't afford it, the Austrians. I can't afford myself. Mm. Oh, it's oh the Indian. Oh no, okay, it's not them. It's just the Indian Rebellion. The Indian Rebellion with Sweden's involved, all against the. Um, they don't have a navy. Okay, so at first I thought it was like this, like fighting over here, and I'm like, no, son. Mughals, I don't really care. That's fine. If we have to end up fighting Mughals, we've got a serious problem on our hands. Like. They're they're landlocked, and if they make it to Brazil somehow, I am I'm just going to quit the game. Oh look at that, nice white piece, cool. Oh what was that? Something just popped up. Oh, I get pressed. oh. oh war, okay, okay. Hess Homburg, that's cool. Nassau. Oh wait, so wait, what is going on here? So the Indian Rebellion, of course. Austro ah oh, the Austro-Prussian Brothers War. So is it? It's Prussia trying to admit, get Austria to admit hegemony. Interesting, very interesting. It's only 1857. Well, I guess that makes sense. I, no, I thought it was 1866 where they went to war with each other. I could be wrong on that. I could be wrong about that. Oh, the War of Chinese Reunification. Xinjiang obviously wants to leave, and given their, you know, history behind here, no wonder they don't want to be under a direct Chinese rule, if you catch my drift. <clears throat> I love camps. But the Treaty of Wien. Cool. Well, Austria already died. They've lost all influence among the German states. Okay. No, no, go, please go back to war. Please, please, please. Or go back to war when uh, I'm I'm not at war either. Please, please. Oh, our right, guys are, are arriving. Come on, get over there. We got a little bit of money. I love it. And before we do that, double check our national focuses. Good. You guys, how, how's it coming up here? There's a lot of slaves up here. Um... Intellectuals is still coming along. Administrative report. You are not good enough yet. Still fighting the Mughals. It takes a while to get from South America to Madagascar. And we are there. To war, my friends, to war. And we want South Madagascar. That's where the that's the only thing we can get. But it's also where we can get the coal. So that's just really good. To form a colonial concession. Oh, the UK will accept, but I don't want to piss off my South American allies right now, so. They have eight 
brigades or divisions. We're gonna just come here, make it easy on us, and start sieging it down. Get down May. Suppression efficiency. I love suppression. Good, siege it down as fast as possible. Oh uh, yeah, good. Guys, actually this is really killing our supply so badly. I just want I just want this area, man. Ah Elections. Nice. Our conservative support is going down, which is great. And now we're going to do it again. People really want wealth voting, so we're not going to give it to them. Censored press, more political awareness. Yes, yes, political awareness is muy bueno. And you guys are taking one heck of a beating. I don't like this. But I need that port down here. Come over here. Uh, they have a ship. It's probably just a transport. So you guys can come down here and probably repair for now. Or just kind of hang out so you don't take hits. Oh, hello. End of the East India Company. Now, I don't know about this in real life. Uh, it accomplished works work such as in the whole history of the human race no other trading company has ever attempted, and as none surely likely to attempt in the years to come, the times. Ah, uh, it's because of the rebellions. Cool, they stopped moving. They have 15,000 guys. We got at least 15,000, and some cannons. Oh, this is going to spell doom for them. Even though they are fighting, they're defending in forests, which should give them quite the advantage, but let's hope it doesn't. Ah, oh, we won. Great. That was barely any score for us, so. though. March 18th, we'll get there. March 7th, no. Really? Will we get there early? Oh, we're slaughtering them. Oh, yes. Nice. I don't think that's enough. Yeah, we really can't afford too much more of an army here. Oh, we're really close, though. We're really, really, really close. If we just siege this area down, we'll be fine. Or just choose to kill them off. Or just take their capital. So, you know, or a combination of all that stuff. I really can't support an army anymore. Oh, my God. But once we take these... Oh, places. Oh, yeah. Oh, 4% more militancy. Yes. Uh, is that enough? Please tell me that's enough. Please, please, please. No, it's still not enough. God dang it. They haven't been hurt enough. We must hurt them more. And their army. Yes. We got the coal. We got the coal. We got the coal. Coal, 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 coal. I, that was terrible singing. I, I can sing so much better than that. Well, maybe not so much better, but quite a bit better. Oh, that is kind of ugly, not going to lie. And we got some, uh, of wood truckers down here, right? Boers. Nice. Oh, and since we're at peace now, I'm going to try to save peace. Lower this by quite a bit. I'm going to keep the naval stuff high because I want them to repair. Get back up high. Colonial power. Oh, supply consumption goes up. That's, yeah, that's not whatever. Whatever. And we have ideological thought and a third focus. Awesome. State and government. Less plurality, plurality, more plurality, political reform desire, social reform desire. That seems like really good stuff. Let's go ahead and grab, though, this, because that might attract more people here. Uh, regarding this stuff, some bureaucrats there, too. And let's increase. Oh, Romanian liberation of Sud Sibimbergen. Just because they. Why did you go to war with no strength? Romania? That, yeah, you, get, you got the big dumb. The big dumb. Well, wow, Prussia's ahead of the French. God dang. Can I build any... Oh, I can. East... Yeah, yeah, East Africa. Nice. If that's the case, you guys are going to be like the king people here. You guys get one of these guys, and then... A boom. Oh, that's really hurting my money. Oh. Yes, more plurality, good. Now, I'll send you guys home since supply is really bad. Uh, literally, just go home. Hmm, how are we going to fix this? Now, what's costing me the most? Industrial subsidies? Probably not. Sorry, Argentine Confederation. I, I sorry, I sorry, but whatever. Yeah, what is actually costing me the most? Right now, it is education. And national stockpile purchases, actually. It's a stockpile purchases that are hurting us. Hmm. It's getting better. If I actually lower my tariffs... Oh, Uruguayan integration? Ecuador, yes. Why do you keep... You must have rubble or something. We've maintained control over Uruguay for us to consider the possibility of integrating it into the Empire of Brazil as a whole. There are Brazilian flags waving in uh, Tacoraembo, flown by Brazilian citizens, so it does not seem so far-fetched. An idea that Uruguay be eventually considered Brazilian territory by the world at large. Oh, heck yeah. Oh, that gives us more infamy. And more consciousness. Give it to me! Yes! Yes! Nice. 
And I love being at peace. Oh, yeah, give me that. Oh, people leaving the British keep calling. Yes, don't go anywhere else. Please don't go to America. I've said that enough times, though. Yes, bring them on, bring them on. We have plenty. We have more than enough room for people here in Brazil. We welcome you with open arms as long as you assimilate. You guys. Bahia. Intellectuals, 3%. You're getting better. You're getting almost perfect. Dragoons. That actually probably did hurt our literacy rate a little bit. Ooh, nice, nice, nice. Wait, this actually gives you more immigrant attraction. State controlled. Uh, harassment. Huh. Peonage. So this... This would help poor Strata. We lose factory throughput. We get plus 5% immigrant attraction. Less poor savings. Oh, yeah. This helps with education stuff, too. Uh, I love not giving the people what they want and benefiting them at the same time. Oh, genius. And that was more explosive factories. Yeah, whatever. No one cares. Plurality, less suppression. That's okay. You know what? That's okay. What's France doing? I don't think France is doing that well in this campaign. Uh, we're doing okay, though. We're definitely doing okay. I could use maybe a little bit. Just a little bit more money. There you go. Is that any better? A little better. Oh, oh, oh hello there. So we must have fixed a stockpile, yeah. Stockpile. If that's a case... How much does that hurt me? How much would that hurt me? 2% tariffs? 2% tariff. I want to make my people wealthier by not pu putting up obstacles for their wealth. Supposedly. Now I want to do the same thing now again. Okay, I need more money. Landowners incite the peasantry. We cannot be provoked by this drivel. Militancy, huh? Hmm. Cool. Are you guys back? Yes, you are. Just combine with that group because you are looking pretty bad. Uh, I will actually probably get rid of the, one of these horse divisions. If I do that, that looks... Actually, that's really balanced. That's actually really, really balanced. I'm not surprised. not going to lie. That's actually really, really balanced. Obviously, we can't support too much of this. Oh, and also we can lower this too. Ah, the economy is coming back. Good. What if I did that? Would that attract more capitalists to our lands? Just for a little bit. Capitalists. Now, it's still a relatively early game. It's, we're approaching middle game now. But, uh, no, we still don't have that many. People don't like to immigrate to places with high taxes, I think. The last time I checked... So maybe that's okay. I mean, it's a difference of 30 a day, you know. Eh. We could spend a little bit less. And even though it's probably better for me to actually spend a little bit more. But I need more money so I can actually build stuff up. That's kind of important. And even though this is a colonial province, which I really, really don't like, at least we have an area of coal. At least that's good. We might consider sending bureaucrats here too. Let's see, are any of your, our bureaucrats currently here done? Let's see, we're getting not too many too many immigrants right now. Uh, you guys are currently how much support percent? You're getting better. You guys are done. You know, I'm going to immediately start doing this so I can build, maybe eventually build a factory here. Because coal is so important. Oh, I can't. God dang it. Colonial policy. Encur encourage colonial migration. I'm more likely to choose this state. Mining? Colonial appeasement? Colonial propaganda? Hmm, maybe I can't do that. God dang it. That was a waste going here then. God dang it. Mm. Well, if not, let me know in the comments below. I really don't know. At the time of this recording, at least. Bureaucrats, good. 12% oh, Brazilian. Brazilian, nice. Uh, cool. That's good, I guess. For us, yes. Uh, anywhere we could expand the railroads. Not really. How about down here? Not really either. But at least we can say we are technically a colonial nation. Now, what's going on in France? Chartist rallies. Good. More liberalism? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I think we might have enough now that we'll always fire. 1859. Why is this, Why did you not done the gas and purchase yet? You not have enough money, America? You're pretty good. Missouri. Joplin, Missouri is uh, pretty southern, it looks like. Malden. Looking pretty split. Uh, Missouri is such a border state. It's so weird. Paducah. Fairly Dixie. Good chunks of Yankee culture down there. Uh, let's see. 
North Carolina, pretty Confederate. Oh, even, yeah, Virginia definitely is. D.C., or, no, that's Maryland. That's pretty split. D.C. itself, farmlands. Well, I, don't, I think that's pretty swampy down there. I got a lot of Irish. That's cool. Dover, cool, pretty, pretty cool. Let's see, and you guys are pretty much all Yankee. Nice. Give me more reforms. Come on, let me reform, let me reform, let me reform. Oh, good. Efficiency, 1960. Great. We're going to grab some more research points immediately. And maybe I'll start considering... Wait. The sound toll is abolished. They chose we shall pay our third and nothing more as their choice of... Oh, my goodness. That does not sound good. But maybe we'll start getting some more prestige and focusing on that. Because that could be really, really good. Why did you have to ally with them, America? Why? Socialists. Huh. Oh, uh, yeah, that's fine. I'll help you out. God dang it. Uh, I really want to break my alliance with these guys. How do they do the... What? Hmm. I might really break my alliance with them. I don't want them to fight me. So we need another great power ally to help us out. I want America to help me out, but... I don't think America wants to help us out. But unfortunately, that's all the time for that we have today, my friends. We're doing quite a bit better. We have... Ooh, the Confederate States are here. Wow, that is a blocky Confederate States. They even got Kansas, which is... Yeah, if you don't know, that's actual, that's the original Confederate States of American flag. But anyways, let's see, they got this, they didn't get parts of Missouri, which makes sense. They even got New Mexico, wow. Wow, New Mexico, you're really different. Even, even English. Ooh, and they even got this whole part of Virginia, too. That's kind of cool. Uh, but that looks really weird. But anyways, hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, consider leaving a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you old tomorrow as we watch the American Civil War unfold and I attempt to beat up more Bolivia. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.